Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from venerable Lambeau Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Eli Manning and the New York Giants. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. I still remember a scouting report that a former Giants GM had on Eli Manning coming out of Mississippi. He simply said he has it. And we always talk about the it factor, which means they're going to play large in big moments, in key situations, and Eli Manning has always had that. First carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage yeah. if he breaks Get through there's nothing but room to run after the loss to start out here's second and 11. manning gonna hand it off to barkley takes it to the 26 just a one yard gain Here's the offense, and we give you too much power here. We let you highlight the player. Why did you choose Zeitler? Because I think the big guys up front never get enough credit. Kevin Zeitler, a guard, tough, nasty. We've got to give him some love. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Working from the gun, Manning, throw left side, complete to Ingram. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Trevor Davis, deep for Green Bay. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. So pinpoint, so accurate. Sometimes we forget just how good he is. We start to take him for granted because he always places the ball exactly where it needs to be for his receivers. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 20. Get 
Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And that'll set them back five. Still first down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Now Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got Sternberger. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 43. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? For us upon on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork, knows that the plays are going to stay alive for a long time. Often will get two or three blocks on the same play. Rodgers on the money to the tight end, Graham. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And quickly the starting 11 now for the New York defense. In a league where the vast majority of guys play hard on every snap, Marcus Golden stands out for me because I've seen this guy play with so much passion and came out of college as a defensive end they talked about making him an outside linebacker, but they figured out his strength, putting his hand on the ground, rushing the passer with a lot of force and a lot of will. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And Adams has it, good play. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 17-yard line. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Look at you. First down, it's Jones. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Here we go, here we go. A good gain again. Go. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it second and goal. 
That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Second and goal from the six this time. Williams will try again. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. This effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And he'll be caught behind the line of scrimmage at the three. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. And New York set to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Back near the goal line. Here's Manning. He's going to let one fly for Tate. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. It's a big-time play there for the G-Man. 46 yards. Not really any offense for them to speak of here in this first half. Maybe that's what they needed, that big play. Yeah, it seems that maybe everything changes right there. They've been a little slow out of the gate. We've seen that. But that one big play, that could spark a big burst right here. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Now Saquon Barkley. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And down right around the 37. First down Giants on a pickup of 14. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Faking the give to Barkley, now Manning. On the catch, this is Russell Shepard. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A little one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. First trip to the red zone for the Giants. It's first and ten from the 12. A toss out to Barkley. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Second down, here's Barkley. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when he clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. So that drive began at their own three. They wind up getting three out of it. And to me, the mentality to begin the drive, that was probably the key to everything. Let's just make sure we take care of the football, give ourselves some room, and maybe punt it away. Instead, it started at the three, and it ended with three points. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Antoine Bethay. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. The New York set to take the field. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands, meaning if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. So after the INT, it's Manning. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Manning to Barkley on the draw play. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Josh Jones in on the stop. A free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play, 
and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Throwing is Manning on third down. And Tate's got it. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun now for Manning. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Manning now to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end, and it's third and short. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And Ingram hauls it in. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him six yards in the first down. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. He can hit him underneath now, yeah, can he? Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defense will give him. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Again, it's Manning. And this is caught at the eight. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. The Giants gonna burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Again, they'll throw with Manning. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Just a gain of a yard in what all likelihood will be the final play of the first half. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports halftime report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half.
Vikings offense is seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, want to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 41-yard line. It's hard to believe when we look at the numbers that our statistician Marvin has given us about Aaron Rodgers today that he's been held to this few. That's not normal for him. And that explains the scoreboard, doesn't it? It really does. As he goes, so goes his team. And he is just absolutely scintillating, but it's still not over for him yet. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. You got nothing. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 39, Rodgers looking middle, and it's incomplete. DeAndre Baker, the first corner chosen in this year's draft, there to make the play defensively. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. On play action, Rodgers. To the tight end and complete. It's Sternberger over the middle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. so many slants in the red zone. Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Touchdown, Packers! Mercedes Lewis there to make the grab. And the Packers have taken the lead. So they go play action. Three tight ends out there in the heavy set. 
Well, they showed everything that suggested running play. Just what you mentioned, three tight ends, heavy formation, able to go play action off of it because if you're a defender, you're thinking it's a running play with that much beef on the field. But they passed it, and they got six out of it. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And the result, a Green Bay score. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead they need to take advantage of it and they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter all they have so far the field goal manning and the giants come up now first and 10 at their 25 yard line throwing is manning the tight end rhett ellison with it he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. From the gun, it's Manning. And he fires one that's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. Well, Gardner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. Now Crosby for the point after. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Go, go. And the Giants. 
defense ready to come out now. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle, you know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And they're able to swarm him behind the line. And his rough night continues. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an Still issue for them now. in this game. And that false start Nine penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Hey! Working from the gun, Manning. He's going to sling this deep. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well. They'll get a few stops. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And he gets a complete to Latimer. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Here we go, here we go. Hey, two stop. Hey, hey, got tight left, tight left, tight left. Five. On second down, Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. seen a whole lot of wide open receivers everything seemingly has been contested and that's another nice job there to force an incompletion they've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long and they've been on the spot just about every time and they've held them in check on the scoreboard false start offense that's on kevin zeitler acquired in the odell beckham trade still second down So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. From the gun, Manning. 
Looking sideline incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Manning. And that will be incomplete as well. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Rosa's kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's going to float this one deep right side. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And New York set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. 60 Pittsburgh. Manning now on first down. He's going to let this one go for Latimer. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. 
This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. That's going to set him back five yards. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From midfield, here's Manning. It's brought in left side by Tate. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, Manning. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Shepard. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Set, 30 base. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that down. play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Watch the ship, watch the ship, hey, watch the ship, watch the ship. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. So that'll back him up five. Still third down. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Operating from the gun. Manning. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Two 
So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. To throw is Manning. And that is incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. No surprise, they try to throw the ball on fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. Well, a little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up, get right? Get your hands up, affect the play, and then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he stopped immediately there. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll go again to Jones. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Packers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. To throw is Rodgers. Trying to lay one up deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The veteran safety, Antoine Bethay, there on the defensive coverage. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's J.K. Scott now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So Manning and the Giants down 14 to six, a minute 37 remaining. They need a touchdown, and of course, the two-point conversion as well. out to Barkley complete. It'll be a pickup of only a yard and it'll be second down. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Second and nine now from the 21. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. We are inside of one minute, only one timeout left, so they've got to move quickly. 
Get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure they're set. No go, penalties go, in this situation, but you're exactly right. Conserve that timeout for when they really need it. Back to throw. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. 27 yards there, a first down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop him? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Manning going to come up on first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. He's back to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.